This with a quick clip of the toenails. And he got it out wide. Free kick, too high. Goes to Ruwalt. Ruwalt gives it to Hall. Well, Hall can get a decent piece of this. They're in uh, business. The ball just floats over the back. Oh, there's numbers here for the Bays. McConnell, can he conjure something? Brilliant handball. Pinozzo, round the body goal. They're back. The Bays are back. They've kicked two to one. And the fans know it. And it's back to a 16-point lead to the Doggies. Well, it's certainly what Glenelg needed in this third quarter. They need to put some scoreboard pressure on. They've had majority of the possession in this third quarter. You can see Chris Hall utilising his long left foot. And McConnell, well, that's his second goal assist. He certainly did feed that one off. He tried to snaffle it. You can see his eyes lit up when he saw the ball spill free. <laughs> he thought, here we go. I'm going to get another goal. But he dish lights it up from outside 50 into a bit of space. He kicks it. Shell against Mills with support from Kirk and play on call the umpire. And what does he call now? It's trapped under him. It's holding the ball. <laughs> oh, please tell me how he was supposed to get that ball out, Tony Day. Well, well don't... you very rarely see it in the SA. Wall, lucky enough to get it to O'Grady. The handball to Murphy was uh, well, okay. His handball to Hall. He collected it well. Hall goes with a left footer. Well, hope for a mark down here. McConnell pushes his man in Goodrum. Didn't give away a free kick. Back to Kirkby from the impossible angle. Kirkby, will he do the team thing? Yes, he will. Ben Kane stands 15 metres out, almost directly in front. Well, once again, McConnell did enough. McConnell. This to make it 17 points. Ben Kane, good kick. They are a big chance. They needed that first goal of the last quarter. Well, it gives them some confidence at the start of the law. They've got the breeze at the back. You can see McConnell pushed his opponent, direct opponent Goodwin out of the play, got his hands on the ball, dished it off, did the team thing to Kirkby. And Kirkby had a quick peek at the goals, but then out of the corner of his eye, sorry, he had two of his teammates standing free alone and one of them was Kane who's been a fantastic recruit and a very good contributor. The opponents can't release the ball. Bays need the next goal, then they need another to be in it because the doggies can close you down. Slade will want the line and happy to see it there. Boys, I know the Windsock's still moving a fair bit but I can tell you at ground level it's nowhere near as strong as it was in the first three quarters. I sense the swirling away there that Windsock. Cranston beautifully down to Kirkby. James Gowans to Goodrum. Goodrum with a very, very smart kick out of bounds. And the umpire says, you disguised it pretty well. The umpire will never pay that in the SANFL. I know the umpires are directed only to pay that if they kick the ball backwards. If they... Well, he had a shot on the opposite side of the ground in the second quarter. A little closer. I think this may be beyond him in terms of distance. Was on Port Adelaide's AFL list. Played with South Adelaide and Subiaco in the WAFL. Grimer at the back. Oh, gee, I thought he snuck that home weight on the umpire. Yeah, look at this. It was a quick kick at the ball, and the goal is ruled. I reckon Tony Day gave that one because the goal umpire was about to signal. I thought it was touched. And he consulted with Tony Day, and he said, no, it wasn't. And Grimer gets one out of his proverbial, if you don't mind. A much needed one. You are spot on there, Crossy. It certainly was Tony Day that ruled that in favour of Glenelg. You can see the ball there basically ricocheted off the knee of Grimer. And that is a controversial goal. A very lucky one. And the Bays keep pushing. Was this a goal? What's your decision? Another angle of it. It's come off his knee, did it? Come off his knee. I think he's <laughs> fooled everybody. Is O'Grady's opponent at the moment. James Gowans just stumbles, takes his time in front of Snouts Louts there on the hill. Then they give him what for? I don't think it's going to affect James Gowans. In fact, I'm sure he's just holding up the ball to get a bit more abuse. <laughs> Umpire let it go. Gowans down the line, kicks it out of the full, maybe it did affect him. <laughs> He'd love that though. He would. Well, I reckon you're spot on, Crossy. I reckon he was playing up to the crowd, but he got it a little bit too smart for himself. Button now. Afternoon, hasn't had too much of it. Away it goes to Allen. Willoughby to Hall. Hall ducks around. He might just kick a goal here. 
Hall's hole. He goes for home and hits the woodwork. I think they needed that one to go through. Just left a man in Williams open. Now Williams goes in short. Not a good kick. This leaves it for Hall. Hall gets it back to Grimer. So a turnover. Grimer's got a man in an acre of space on the outer side in Willoughby. Now Willoughby thought about a bounce. Decided to pump long. O'Grady's in the box seat. Paid the mark. Oh, he might just get it taken off him too. Umpire Richard Williams doing a bit of play acting now. He's <laughs> one of the Gowans boys, is it? Uh, not smart from Richard O'Grady. No. Gowans uh, complaining that he should have had that reversed, but O'Grady has the ball almost directly in front, just on a slight angle, 35 out. Don't cough it up now. Well, this to bring them within six points. O'Grady must kick it and does. They're alive. Just. It's great playing the back half. Over ran it. Slade was in there. So was McKenzie. Players desperate. McKenzie lying on it. Umpire says, give it to me. Cross 25 minutes in this final quarter. McKenzie, again, just let the ball drop at his feet. Hadn't cleared it away. Mill, Mill, sorry. Murphy did well. Try the other M. And it was Mills who forced it out to him. And now, loose in front of goal, McConnell. Another M. Great work from Willoughby. It's fantastic work by Josh Willoughby. Firstly to present, take the mark, and then turn straight away and play on. This to level the scores. And the enigma... drawn ever with the dogs in game number 1000 for the central district